last of 2022, bought a one-way ticket to Bali. It had been so long since I just packed up and went somewhere that I used to do in my early 20s. This was my home in Wubu. While I was there, I slowly found a healthier, more balanced way of living. I went to bed before 11, woke up at 6, and started my day with yoga at 7. I realized that sometimes the first step to change is simply change your environment. In February, I started my 200 hour yoga teacher training in Bali. I still remember our teacher saying on the first day, yoga destroys your life. At first, I didn't really get what that meant, but over the next few days, I saw it saw how it started to change me. Break down and rebuild. That's the only way to truly open yourself up to new experiences. Morning. Morning. You need to let go of your old ways. Give yourself a break to fill the world, try something new, and then rebuild yourself. During this time, I met amazing people from all over the world. Every day we practice yoga together, explore local food, and enjoy the moment. Hi, morning! I didn't just meet new friends, I also found myself and reconnected with the world. In my early 20s, I had no clue about meditation. My first meditation class was called Me Your Future Self. It was only 90 minutes, but at the end of class, I had tears streaming down my face. That's when I had my aha moment about meditation. After that, I opened the door to meditation and started preparing a 30 minutes class with my friends for the next day. One afternoon in breathwork class, the teacher turned inhale exhale into a rhythmic song. We dance freely, enjoy lunch together, I love Pai Thai and coconut water. And now we explore local restaurants, enjoy local dishes. February is the rainy season in Bali, so it pours almost every day. As someone who doesn't like rainy days, I gradually got used to changing weather. Sometimes the sound of rain helped me sleep better. I also visited a local temple to experience a Balinese purification ritual. At first, I didn't fully understand or believe in it, but I decided to try everything. If you ask me what kind of spiritual cleansing I got, I may struggle to explain. But when the holy water touched my skin and I held the channel sorry, it stirred something inside me. That is our belief system. That is make us believe when we symbolize a God, when we see by our visualization. For the past 26 years, I was told to love my parents, my family, my partner, and to love your work. But no one ever told me how to love myself. In Bali, I learned one of the most important lessons of my life, self-love. To me, self-love means being a state that I enjoy. It's having a healthy routine, staying curious about the world, trying new experiences, and exploring all the possibilities life has to offer. It's about unlocking new skills, enjoying good food, and bravely pursuing personal growth and self-fulfillment. First, learn to love yourself, so you have more energy to love others and the world around you. Oh, and on Valentine's Day in 2023, I decided to quit my job and embrace the uncertainty of the future. I chose to work on the unknown and open myself up to all the possibilities ahead. I attended a workshop called Authenticity and Vulnerability. I saw the power of vulnerability. When the teacher asked me how I felt about burnout, I started crying. It's a moment to really open it up when someone you trust asks you how you feel. I saw ambitious about my work and self-worth. 
learn to be vulnerable and show my true self has been an important lesson. On the first day of my yoga teacher training in Bali, I wrote, "Enjoy every moment, find yourself." By the last day, I really got the meaning of trust the process. I come here to change my environment, learn yoga, and meditate. I didn't expect to make amazing friends and feel so much love. This experience helped me appreciate the present and discover a new part of myself. I also put some special cards that said, "Take a risk and follow your true desires." That message really resonated with me. I'm grateful to my 26-year-old self for making the decision to take this one-way trip to Bali.